Before we jump into today's video, I just want to let you guys know I will be coming to Rifa Palooza Orlando at the end of April. I think that's April 22nd, so it'll be cool to meet up with you guys there. And then if you're not there, we're going to be at the Niagara Coral Show with some of our aquariums, our lovely tanks. So it'll be cool to meet up in person in either Orlando or in Niagara. What is going on, my reefing fam? March here. This is Fragbox TV. Welcome back to the channel. What happened? You heard it. The Hannah Salinity Checker. He works here. He had a beautiful tank. It was reading out of whack and he was trusting it because you think that if you spend $100 on something that it's going to be good, the thing sucks. What is going on, my reefing fam? March here. This is Fragbox TV. Welcome back to the channel. What happened? Don't worry, we didn't kill everything. That was a fun video, huh? Two years ago. I'll link it in the description. I'll show you what happened to this tank. This time it was planned. It looks like this on purpose. I saw the last video. I told you we're gonna rescape it. I wasn't kidding, so here we go. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is what I originally said was kind of like levels coming down this way, sort of like slope it like that. I'm gonna reuse some of the rock and then I'm gonna keep a big negative space there. So I'm gonna play with it a little bit tomorrow and then see how I feel about it. In other news, I bleached my favorite Recordia in the store. Or Okay, maybe I didn't bleach it. It decided to bleach for reasons unknown to me. Actually, I know exactly why. Let me share that with you. The tank is small, it's only six gallons. It's very easy for a salinity to get out of whack. Um, you know what, number one, thing I see with new ho hobby, not even just new hobbyists, hobbyists in general, one of the biggest things is their salinity going out of whack when they're running into trouble. Invest in a high quality refractometer. I like this brand, why? Because it happens to be ours and it comes in this awesome little sexy bamboo carrying case. But get any refractometer, throw out anything that isn't a refractometer. Hydrometer, uh, okay, but refractometer, this is really the way you want to go. If you're using a Hanna pen, you can go ahead and toss that out. Here, let's call Dylan. Dylan, our frag surgeon. He doesn't know he's going to be on the phone. He's not here today. Let's call and bother the staff. See if he picks up. Ring, ring. Oh, hey, Dylan, quick question. Yeah. Uh, how, when you had your tank and it crashed, what was the reason behind it, like the, the final straw? Uh, the Hannah Salinity Checker. The Hannah Salinity Checker. Okay, I'm just, I'm just making sure that I'm not old and crazy. Okay, thanks man. Sorry to bother you. Okay, Bye. no worries. Bye. Anyways, I know I'm going to get a lot of comments to say, I use one at home and I love it and it's great. It's great until it isn't great. Um, what else? What is new? Check this out. We have some dirty frags. They're really, really naughty. No, they're just covered in a little bit of algae. So what I like to do sometimes, I'm going to show you a little secret I have here. Check this out. I throw them in here with the emerald crabs. And these guys are just great all around algae eaters. Look at them go. Doing what God designed them to do. Nom, 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 nom. And I keep them on these racks so that once they've done their job. Oh, sorry, guys. I just can take them out and then throw them back in. And they're all nice and clean. Oh, I'm squishing them. I was in Mexico last week, or two weeks ago, and then I came back and it's, it's just here, a little bit of algae we're dealing with here in our um, our Acro Grow It tank. It's just kind of like this annoying brown, filmy, I'm not really sure what it is, but the emerald crabs love it. So I'm actually gonna load up this entire tank tomorrow with emerald crabs. This is feeling like a sidetrack. Yeah, this is feeling like an entire sidetrack sort of video. How do we feel about this rock? I don't like how much I like it. So this is going to get set up eventually after we come back from the Niagara Coral show. Uh, I want to bring these to kind of show them off when we're there. I don't like how much I like this rock. I thought I was going to hate it. It's kind of cool. It's a new rock that we're trying out here in the store. So it's this supposed to look like Tonga branch. How do we feel about it guys? Do we like it? Would you use it? Am I going to use it in this tank? No, I'm not. I don't know. It's kind of bulky, but the way Tia has set it up, Scape Queen over there, it actually looks, um, it does look pretty cool. Only thing is, it is quite expensive. Look at that. <laughs> Not cheap. This, this is a pack of cultured corals. You can grab on our site right now. So this is stuff that we just, we've been growing a ton of, and we need your help to kind of move some of it because it's growing faster than we can sell it. So it's half off right now. You get eight pieces all grown here in-house, some solar fair, some Monty Pork Confusa, some Honeycomb Pasture, Xenia Starburst, uh, I can't remember the name of that one, some OG Cyphastri and some Nirvana Zoas. It's just stuff that really grows really, really well for us. So we have a ton of it and then you get some incredible savings or half off if you take all eight of them. 
Long term Radeon G6 review. Yes, very much impressed. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Just turn off the flow right quick. Hello. Check out how woke I am. Ta da. I love that comment. That uh, Alex Vardas, whatever your name is, comment. That was a great comment. Good to get the conversation going. But, anyways, enough about that. Check out the acro color. Man, these did not look like this when they came in. This one is looking fantastic. The Millies have gone a really deep, rich color. So they come in sort of a little light, and then after, what has it been, about a month now? They get this really, like, what I call saturated or deep color. Like the initial color on the Acro, um, very, very light in color. And I am very impressed. If I didn't know I was running Radeon G6s, I might think I'm running T5s, except I have eyes and I work here, so I know they're not T5s, but the color, I mean, is like, it's on par. It's really good. Check this out. Check these pieces out. Just fantastic. I don't know why I was so closed-minded. I didn't think that I could keep Acro solely with um, LED, maybe because I'm old school and I came from the land of metal halides, which is now completely, I think I would say completely dead. I can name maybe two people in this city of Toronto um, that are using halide. Maybe one, I don't even know if the other one's still around. I, if, it'd be cool if someone in the comments was still using them, but for, for better or for worse, LED has taken over, as you can see here, this entire store. Uh, now, officially, at least upstairs, we still have T5 downstairs. Check it out, that looks nice, look at that, wow. That is a sexy row of radions. You know what's a question I get a lot? Ton of emails, we try to respond to everyone. If we don't, I'm sorry, you have to understand, we get emails from all over the world. So if you want a response from us, I'm gonna just be brutally honest, make your question short. If you're gonna write 20 questions, it's gonna take a while if anyone's able to get back to you, just because we're trying to serve first our existing customers here in Canada, uh, two our new potential customers, people here in Canada looking to maybe buy with us, we are a business, and then after that, we'll go through emails, we have a folder for people that are asking just general reef related questions because we want to help you guys, man these fish are so useful, we want to help you guys um, succeed in keeping reef tanks. So if you do have a question and you do email us, I'm just going to say try to keep it concise, try to ask one or two, not 50. Anyways, I forgot where I was going with that. Um, I, the, I think the number one question I get, and I'm going to do a video on it, but I'm gonna actually write it out and not do it as a sidetrack sort of video like this one, is what does it cost to open a store like this, like Fragbox? What does it cost and what is involved? And my usually my generic email will just say, do not try opening one of these without less than maybe a quarter million dollars. And I'm sorry if that's discouraging. What I'm going to do though is take the time when I find it one day and actually write out a proper video and talk to you about what is involved start to finish. Maybe even before we talk money and financing, what it would look like to open a shop like this where you live. And I hope that will be helpful for some of you out there. And it will come. I, I, I've started writing it actually. It's on here. The craziness of notes. Uh, see? I'm not kidding. There it is. Da, 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 da. I'm putting more thought into this one. And I want to do it, do it justice. Do it properly. Step two. Why are you opening a store? How are you going to fund the store? What are you going to do with your kids and your wife and your husband? An additional startup look like I'm actually putting time into this video. This is kind of cool. The Reef Casa Frag Box Tank. So you want to start a frag tank? Talk about starting a store. Maybe start with a frag tank. Figure out how to grow some frags and keep them. So this is a, basically it's the Reef Casa Pico Flat 6, what we call the Frag Box 6. It's everything that that comes with, except you get this beautiful acrylic tray to beautifully display your frags and keep them organized and grow them. So that's available at reefcasa.com. We have some wrasses, some new rassy rassies available on our site too. Check this one out, red line wrass. There's a nice cardinal hanging out in there. And I think that's it. What else is new? I added a mangrove here and I wanted to get nice and tall and happy and healthy. And I cut this, well I didn't cut it, my friend cut it with his laser cutter. So it's living in our overflow, right in there. And I don't know how fast they grow, but Tia's been taking care of it and it's looking really healthy. So. 
And ripping apart this has started to give me like the itch to just, I don't know, I'm going through a transformative aquarium time right now in the store. And the leathers here are just growing over one another and I think this may be the next tank to get a proper trimming or maybe just a little bit of rearranging of some of the pieces. I don't know what is going on with this clownfish. That is not black ick. Maybe some sort of stress, you guys see that? Oh, stay still for a second. Yeah, lots of black dots. Anyways, we're gonna wrap this one up. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you like the content, please subscribe. There's a little bell there at the bottom so you'll get notified when we do this again. And that's it. Thank you for watching this episode of Fragbox TV. Have a very nice day or afternoon or morning, wherever you're watching from. Goodbye for now.